Hello modders and welcome back to learning to mod FTL, custom ships. So I can call you modders now if you've been following the guide up to this point since you are now capable of making a ship with vanilla assets. In this third episode we'll step things up by making custom gear, so weapons, drones and augments in the easiest way possible by using the art of vanilla weaponry and just changing blueprints. So in the first 20 or so minutes I'll be adding a custom drone to our Winnebago and after that I alone We'll go more into depth about the blueprints and talk a bit more about augment modding. Enjoy! Okay, cool. Alright, this is where the fun stuff begins. Alrighty. So, <laughs> What's next? Custom <laughs> weapons. Custom gonna weapons. Be, well, well, I guess we can start with the drone. I think that'll be okay. easy because we'll be using uh, vanilla assets for that. So, do you know okay. which drone you want to use? Um... I think I want to use the Beam 2 drone is what I'd like to use. All right, so you have everything I sent you, right? The yes, restricted all, the, all the extracted, unpacked game files. You yeah. want to go to, let me just boot it up myself. Uh, so I do see the drones. I guess yeah, these are the images vanilla. of the drones here. Yeah, we won't be needing those. Oh, okay. Um, because they are in the vanilla game, we don't need them. Okay. What's <clears> up, Tricks? Yep, space balls. <laughs> Head over to uh, the data folder. Okay, let's see here. Data folder, okay. All right, you'll be looking for blueprints.x. Wait, is it a, uh, the Beam 2, is that a DLC or no? Um, I don't think the Beam drones were DLC. I think they were both in the, the vanilla game. I could be wrong, but I, I don't. I think they only added flax and charge weapons. I don't think they had any drones. Well, we'll find it soon enough. Let's okay. Let's see. Oh, you can open up blueprints. You can just use any text that. Oh, for, just use like, like Notepad will work. Yeah. Let me. Oops. Here. Close. What was that? Okay. Let me open with Notepad. Starting, okay. Starting drones. That will be beam something, right? Starting drones. All right. So we'll be looking for the beam two blueprint then. So. If you know the exact name of it, that would help. Um, beam uh, long. I see a blueprint list. Beam drone. Let's see if it finds anything. Combat beam. Starting drones. Drone recovery. Hmm. Drones. Let's see blueprints. Drone blueprints. Okay, here's drone blueprints. Battle repair laser. I assume it's the la drone laser. I see drone laser two in the weapon. Laser is a laser, not a beam. Oh, my bad. Drone beam. Okay, yeah. Drone ion. Drone combat laser. beam. The combat beam two is indeed a DLC weapon. Oh, really? Okay. Well, then I was wrong. Okay. So that would be. Is that in here then? Um, it's in the data folder. It's just uh, oh, DLC, DLC blueprints. blueprints. Okay. Okay. Cool. Wow, I did not know that, but I had a suspicion. Let's see, drone, beam, okay, drone. Okay, cool. Um, it's combat underscore beam underscore two. Okay, combat underscore beam underscore two. All right, combat beam two, all right. All right you should see a block of code starting with dro like drone blueprint name equals combat beam two. Okay, yep, I see that. Okay, so you want to select that all the way down to drone blueprint. Okay, cool. All right, so copy that. Yep. All right, go to your mod resource folders. Okay. Go into data and blueprints. Yeah, oh. I should be doing this myself, but I have the mod myself, so I might as well use the cheat sheet. Um, all right, you want to make a DLC blueprints dot xml dot append file oh okay let's see here um can i do that with a notepad and then save it as an xml file possibly or um, you can just well i can just right click new and then text document then rename it and i can do the extension from there oh okay 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 so and i'm and we have to call it the same thing right which was yep. dlc blueprints okay rename DLC uh, blueprint 
Oops. Dot okay. XML dot append. Oh, okay. I have to make it dot XML dot append. Dot XML dot append. Okay. I don't. It's still saying it's, it's a text still, document. Yeah, you're gonna have to make make sure you can change those. Um, how do you do that again? Let me see if I can save as. Uh, change extension. Okay, so I think that worked. Okay, cool. So it's showing it's an append file rather than an XML, but that's correct. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so you can open that and then paste the code of the drone in there. Okay, of course, now I have to open it with the notepad. Uh, let's see, open with uh, notepad. Okay, so I, I, I put that in there. Uh, the I right. pasted that. Um, and this is where you start messing with things. So you can change the title. Okay, so instead of combat beam, uh, let's see. So anti-ship beam drone 2, we're going to make this the... Schwartz beam drone. Okay. And oh, we can do the description. Okay, nice. Yeah, short, you can also change that just the shortened name for it. Okay, so we're going to call it Schwartz beam for short, I guess. Uh, Schwartz. Or maybe just, eh, yes. Schwartz drone, I guess. Okay. Combat drone that uses the Schwartz. Okay. So three power, I think. Yes, I definitely want to be three power. So cooldown doesn't affect combat drone. Dodge is zero. Fire speed. So I probably, if I want to make this do two damage... Can I change that in here? Uh, no, we are going to have to find the blueprint of that weapon. Okay. Um, and it says right there which one it is. Weapon blueprint drone beam 2. Okay. And, so um, we're going to have to go find that one as well. If I want it to be like the speed of the beam drone 1, you don't happen to know the speed of that one, do you? Um, I can check the blueprint for the beam drone 1. Uh, welcome back, Silly X. Uh Counter combat beam. The speed on that one is fifteen. Oh, so higher is slower. Well, if the combat beam two has a longer beam, doesn't it? I uh, think that's why they uh, change things. Interesting. So it's slower, but it's a longer beam. Okay. For some reason, I thought the uh, the beam two is faster. I guess maybe only its beam. Uh, so is the speed okay? That's firing speed. It says. So firing speed, is that how often it fires or how fast its beam goes? Uh, it'll be how fast it fires. Okay. So I feel like if it's how fast it fires, that affects how fast it moves around the ship, right? Probably, yeah. Okay. So I guess the lower speed is actually better than if I want it to not move as fast. Yeah, basically. Okay. Okay. So I need to... Okay, so if that's all I need to change, then now we need to change what the Drone Beam 2's weapon damages. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, unless you want to change the cost. Um, do I want to get multiples of these? That, that's fine. That's we'll, we'll keep it. Yeah, everything else the same. Uh, so as a fun fact, you see that BP over there? Yeah, I was wondering what that BP is. BP is, well, we've come to know it as built points. Basically, it's a leftover from what should have been a ship designer in the game itself. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> so this this drone will cost three build points with whatever ship designer they were thinking of putting Planning in the game. On using, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. All right, so Let's we know what that. blueprint we're still looking for, right? Drone beam. Yeah, two. drone beam two. So, so go look for that one. That's going to be under, let's see here. Um, Probably also DLC blueprints. Okay. DLC blueprints. Uh, open. No, I want to open with notepad here. That would have been a fun feature. Yeah, no kidding. That would have been awesome. Uh, what was it called? It was called uh, drone beam 
drone beam drone underscore beam two. Yep. Okay. Drone underscore beam two. All right, weapon blueprint name drone underscore beam two. Okay, cool. And it says one damage, and so I want to copy this thing like I did copy the other that, one, right? Yeah. Also to your DLC blueprints. Okay. <clears throat> okay, copied that. Drone beam two. And uh, am I putting this in the same f full uh, same? Just below it, it's fine. Okay. Okay, and then here's where I can change. Yeah damage to two uh what did i want to do i think i wanted to do two damage beam here description baby's first beam what <laughs> oh, I... you won't be seeing you won't be seeing this anymore. okay i was gonna say that does not sound like the description for the drone beam too <laughs> well you can change speed what is this speed mm, no freaking idea oh uh, that speed will be the speed of the beam okay this is the actual speed of the beam uh traveling and then it's got a length too interesting uh i think i might want to make this a little stronger too go 10 and i'm gonna go 45 length so we're gonna buff up this beam okay cool damage 266 yeah <laughs> let's go crazy one shot everybody with a single beam actually i think isn't there a limit to like well actually i don't know if there's a limit to how much damage a single weapon can do I've never... yeah, the numbers can go pretty high. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's not make it so that we one-shot even the boss with a single beam weapon. So, Okay. All right, cool. So that's the drone beam. Uh, did you say there's animations and stuff we have to tweak? Um, yes, but not for this one because you're using vanilla okay. assets, basically. There, there's there's no way to like change the color of the beam or anything like that with this, um, right? I need to see this one. No. Okay. Okay. No big deal. That would have just been a, a. Well, you probably could, but then you have to start adding stuff to it. Yeah, I see that there's an icon image for Beam Two. I don't know that that would. That's probably uh, not the actual icon image. I'm not sure what if that's just like the, what you see in the game for what that drone is or something. Yeah, probably. Well, let's see. I see um, a drone image, drone Beam Two, and then I see an icon image, Beam Two. I mean, I'm not too familiar with drones themselves, but drone image is the actual bulk of a drone. Um, Interesting. So... I do see a weapon art beam one. I wonder what that is. Weapon art. Is that for the drone itself? That's under the weapon blueprint, actually. Under the weapon blueprint. Weapon yeah, at the very art. bottom of that, I see weapon art beam one weapon art. I wonder, I wonder if I can search that in here and see if that pulls up something. Why don't I see that? <laughs> uh, so, and that's used for all the beam drones, it looks like. Um, but I don't know if that's something you can edit at all. Or if that's under maybe a different file or a different... Uh... Oh, you're looking at the drone fire beam now. Yeah, well, I'm looking at... Drone beam 2 has it too underneath launch sounds at the very bottom drone of it. Beam. Oh, I'm, looking at, I'm not looking at the weapon. That'll do it. I want to see what the numbers mean. You can just open up the glade beam and pike beam side by side. That's true. You could do that. That's for sure. Because I don't know if the blueprints would it would include what the actual beam looks like, or if that's a different file. Maybe it's like under uh, events or art. something. <laughs> but that's probably I think getting that's the actual uh, icon for the weapon of the drone. Like a drone has the body and then the weapon, and I think. Weapon art is the actual weapon. Uh, so you think that's the actual drone itself? Uh, weapon art is, are like the two prongs you see. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Well, let's not go too deep <laughs> because no. uh, I don't want to break Modern anything. Drones is out of my wheelhouse. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. So um, go back to your. So you've changed stuff in your uh, DLC blueprints, right? There's a I few did. more things that we need to do. Okay. Because I'm assuming you want this um, to be a drone on itself, not just replace Combat 2. Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea to not let them have a okay, crazy So what you beam. want to do then, it's pretty simple. If you're happy with everything, all uh -huh. you need to do is under uh, Weapon Blueprint Name. Uh-huh. Let me just... 
I'm, I'm looking at your stream now because I haven't bothered with the drones myself. Sure. Um, yeah, I see under weapon blueprint name, it says Drone Beam 2 right now. Yeah, rename that to, I don't know, Schwartz Beam 2 or something. Like <laughs> okay, that. nice. Schwartz. Let's go Schwartz underscore Beam for that. Uh, use capital letters. I don't know if it's important, oh, okay. but... Sure. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Schwartz underscore Beam. Uh, beam. I guess I'll go underscore one just in case it needs that. Okay. All right. Cool. So then under weapon blueprint in your drone blueprint, replace drone beam two with Schwartz underscore beam underscore one. So let's see under. Let's see. It's weapon blueprint. Uh, lower here. weapon blueprint. Yeah, that one. Uh, is that okay? Okay. Cool. So that'll be also capital letters. Blah blah blah. Does it need to be in print in? Uh, as it was. Quotes. So if you don't know what it's any more controls the end. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, control C. It's not working. Uh let's see here. Let me just pull it up in the other one then to remind myself. <clears throat> DLC blueprints. It was drone beam two, not in quotation marks. Okay. Uh where's mine? Too many notepads open here. Modding's fun, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's going to be sh uh, Schwartz underscore underscore beam underscore one. Okay, so hopefully that works. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um... okay, cool. File thing, uh, drone blueprint name. Uh huh. Uh, needs to be replaced as well. Okay. Yeah. That's all the way at the top now. Cool. So we'll call that just. Um, I, I sh should I, I probably shouldn't call it the same thing as a weapon blueprint name, right? Or does that matter? Uh, preferably not, no. Okay. I'll just call this Schwartz. Schwartz underscore drone then. Schwartz drone underscore one this is how we professional programmers do it copy and paste someone else's work and change it slightly <laughs> nice it's right. secret. Um, you can then copy the schwartz underscore drone underscore one uh -huh. then go to blueprints.xml.append in your mod okay mod chip. okay so we're gonna do open with notepad okay um you'll you can now see like the basic stats of your ship uh -huh. um and i see the drone DLC list and i, I can you, yeah the placeholder can now get the name you just copied. so if i do this schwartz drone okay cool so hopefully now it'll load up that drone we just created right okay all right and that is one schwartz drone installed so as i mentioned at the start i was going to go into depth a bit about Weapon modding. Uh, again, I'm keeping this to the basics. We'll go over custom art on the next episode. So if you're looking for that, uh, you can just straight away go to that one. But uh, yeah, first things first. Um, you do need the uh, all the resource that I've sent you. There, there are programs that can just uh, read the files. But if you're going to start doing custom art, then you're also going to need the images. And I don't think you can get them through any normal means other than unpacking that uh, folder. But anyway. So say you want a weapon, right? You think about it for a little while and you're like, okay, I'm making a charge ion that I want to have deal crew damage. All right, that's fine. The way you want to start with something like that is think about what is the closest resemblance from an existing weapon. So in our case, say like a uh, charge ion that does crew damage and let's say starts fires well the closest thing i can think of is the regular charge ion uh, why is that well charge and chain are a bit special um you can turn anything into one of those but it's easier to start off with a blueprint that already has that because it's harder to mess up if you start with something that already has most of the code in it so you select your weapon the charge ion now what's the blueprint name who knows right so an easy way to find out is using this. 
the superluminal weapon selection. How do you get to that? Simple, go to your um, your ship loadout properties and um, just pick one of these. By the way, this is my magpie for those uh, wondering. Um, so you click a weapon. Okay, I'm looking for the charge ion. Well, normally when you hit no weapon, you get this. All right, you go like, okay, it's lasers ion. Okay, cool. Now you could start looking here. This is the name of the weapon that you will see in game. This is the blueprint name. So you're looking for the charge ion here. Keep in mind there's like a ton of stuff in here because I have cap position loaded in. And you look and you look and you look. There's the chain ion. And there's the charge. Ion blast charger. Now we know the blueprint name is ion charge gun. Now, where do you find it? Well, we went over that in the video as well. You should be paying attention. Um, let's go to our vanilla files. Yes, all of this stuff is in Dutch, big whoop. So we know that's in data, and then we either are looking for blueprints or DLC blueprints. Now, if you've not been playing FTL f as long as I have, you've never played uh, FTL without advanced edition being a thing. You may have played it with it off, but you know. So I know charge weapons, chain weapons, flax, those were all added in the DLC. So we know we're looking for DLC blueprints. So we can open that up. And then we can look for what we see here. So it's actually already here as well, but I'm just going to copy it from here. Control F, search for. Ion charge gun, DLC weapons, okay, that's fine. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the blueprint. Weapon blueprint name, Ion charge gun. And then you can just copy that into your DLC blueprints.xml.append. You'll probably have to make that yourself unless you have the ship replace a C layout. For the record, you do not need to worry that if a ship starts with a DLC weapon or system that it has to overwrite a C layout. That's not the case, all right? It might not work if you turn AE off, but it doesn't have to replace a C layout. So, okay, you got this, you copied it over, right? Uh, that's an easy way to find what blueprint you need. You'll find drones and augments in a similar fashion. Uh, say if you go to... It's the same thing here. So long range scans are ADV scanners. Um, a lot of this is. Uh, there's the um, stealth weaponry renamed in uh, cap position, which is why you're seeing advanced cloaking field rather than just stealth weapons. But yeah, you can find uh, blueprint names this way pretty easily. If you're still having trouble, you can also search. Uh, let's just give an example of that. I'm trying to be as thorough as possible, so you may as well. So say you're just really blind or something. You really can't find this one. Well, you can just do search and go like um, ion charge or something. Confirm that. And you can see it doesn't find anything. Because, you know, it's not named like that. But we can just do like, say, um, ion and the title. And it'll, it'll list only ion weapons in here, so that should make it a bit easier for you to find. And there's our charge again. <clears throat> so you got the blueprint, right? I'm pretty sure you're all really interested in finding out what most of this means. Now, again, most of this stuff is really, really count, well, really, really intuitive, all right? So let's stick with the charge gun for now, why not? Type, this defines what it is. Um, these can be found uh, probably also in the blueprints. I'm pretty sure uh, we saw it earlier. If we go here, uh, yeah, so laser, missile, bursts, bomb, beam. That's important. So, again, it's one of those things that if you know of a blueprint that's like a charge and a laser, go for that. Anyway, type is laser. That's important, right? Um, <clears throat> because it will 
depend on what's here to define what it does. You know, it makes sense, right? If it's a laser, it'll be it'll be using shots. If it's a beam, it'll use. Well, if you're like using, um, let's go get a different blueprint. One that's just like a laser charge gun. <clears throat> yeah, this is fine. This is the uh, charge the charge L. If this is laser, this is like damage per shot. If this is beam, it'll be damage per room, you know. Um, one more thing. <clears throat> the tag laser and missile is interchangeable, but there's a difference. And it's a simple difference. Um, let's see, if this is captain's edition, there should be some missile weapons in here, actually. Yeah, say like the Valentine missile rack. This is clearly a missile weapon, right? You see a missile, you can see... Um, ah, this is an artillery weapon. Dang it. <laughs> I was going to say you'll see that it costs a missile, but... Uh, here we go, that's a mine launcher. It's basically just a missile launcher that doesn't deal system damage. So see here that it costs a missile even though it's a laser. What up with that, right? Well, that's simple. The only real difference between a laser and a missile... Missiles can be shot down by defense ones. Lasers cannot. I mean, they can be if you're really unlucky, but you know what I mean. This will be targeted by defense drones as well as burst because those are your flags. And... Uh, Lasers, ions won't. So if you want to say like a missile that can't get shot down by defense once, you use a laser tag. And if you want a missile, or if you want a laser that can get shot down for whatever reason, use a missile. Um, all you have to do then is change, you know, the art. But again, we're going to go over that later. <clears throat> so let's have another look at a blueprint and see what it all does, right? So let's go back to our... We'll go over a few iconic weapons, I guess. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Ion Charge. Is that the... Yeah, okay. So, type. We went over that. Uh, title Ion Charger. That's the full name. Short is the name that's in the weapon box when you're playing. Tip means what tip it'll be. Uh, is a tip that it'll be showing if it's um, on your ship and you're hovering over it in the... Um, loadout screen you know the little box under the stat screen of the weapon description is pretty straightforward tooltip i believe that's when you hover over the weapon box damage is hull damage keep in mind one hull damage is more than just one hull damage all right so let's go check out uh, another laser, for instance. Laser charge gun. It says damage here, right? But you never see anything regarding uh, crew damage or something, right? Even though if you hit, you'll damage the crew, you'll damage the system. One hull damage, or one regular damage here, equals one hull damage, one system damage, and one crew damage. Now one crew damage in a blueprint, we'll go over that shortly as well, equals 15 health lost. So, you know, if you put this at uh, 10, you'll one shot all crew because it'll do 150 damage to crew, which is enough to kill a rockman and those are the bulkiest characters around. Fun fact, it will not kill a uh, boarding drone. Or an anti-personnel drone, because I believe they take half damage from uh, shots, which is weird. But, you know, that's the thing. Shots is the amount of shots uh, it will have. Um, you can go up to as many as you like for normal weapons. For artillery, you need to be a little bit more careful. Uh, more on that will be in the fifth episode. It should be just called Addendum. I'll go over the artillery system at length there, because it's an interesting system to me. Um... Flak weapons will always have only one shot. Arsenal has one that does two, but it looks funky. Um, it uses projectiles in a slightly different fashion. So we'll have a quick look at that. Uh, I can 
Flak is a DLC weapon, right? So I can probably just do Flak and it'll find something. What do you have here? Burst, physical target. Okay, that's the Flak MK2, right? So Fire's Blast B doing up to 7 damage. The C shots is only one, right? The way Flak works, it gets its shots from here. Namely, they are projectiles rather than shots. Um, so you have three non-fake ones, four non-fake ones, three plus four is seven. What are the fake ones? Those are the little bits of shrapnel that just don't do anything. They make like little implosion sounds, or explosion sounds, but they don't actually don't do anything. I believe uh, defense drones will or can shoot uh, fake projectiles, so I guess maybe that's why they're there, but... Yeah, flag weapons is done uh, through this. You don't need to have fake ones, so you can easily just re remove this line and it'll be still quite functional. Uh, next up, we might as well continue with this one. Um, radius is the area of effect for flag weapons. Uh, this is different if you're using a flag as artillery, but again, more on that uh, in the addendum episode. So damage, we went over that. Spin is how fast the flak shots will turn around. Shots is the amount of shots for flak you want to keep is at one. Um, beams don't have this. They'll have other stats. We'll go over a beam weapon shortly too, just to show what that's all about. Um, SP is shield piercing. Um, that usually goes from zero to five. Why five? Well, there are a few ships that can have up to five shield layers, and it would be weird if a missile shuttle poofed up against those um, I don't think there's any r method to making stuff pierce Zoltan shields using the shield piercing tag so um, that's a thing to keep in mind fire chance is fire chance breach chance is breach chance uh, these are in I think I went over that in the video but I might as well mention it here um, this is by 10. So you multiply this number by 10 to get your fire chance. Now one more thing I need to say, fire and breach chance can't happen at the same time. So if fire chance at 100, and breach chance is 100, you'll only get fires. Or only breach. I think it depends on which one's at the top, but don't quote me on that. Um, the way this works is if both have like, say, we'll make that a 5... Meaning this is a 50% chance for fire, 50% chance for breach. Basically, it'll roll for the fire chance. If it succeeds, okay, fine, it moves on. If it doesn't succeed, which is going to be 50% of the time, it'll roll for a breach chance. So I think, I haven't tested myself. If you do like 5 and 10, you'll either have a 50% chance for fire or a 50% chance for a breach. Cooldown is cooldown. Not much to need to be said about this. Power is power. No, nothing much need to be said about that one. Cost is the price you pay to buy the weapon. Um, fun fact is you can actually put negative values in there. And yes, that will work as you think it might work. Basically, if uh, cost is negative, if you buy it in stores, you gain the scrap. And if you sell it, you pay the scrap. Well, half of it, but you know. BP, we went over that. Those are the quote-unquote build points. This is a useless uh, value because there is no ship editor. Speed is how fast the shots travel. Rarity defines how, well, how rare it is. Again, zero means it won't show up in stores. One is it's common, two uncommon, three rare, four like epic, five legendary. I think that's the common terminology. Projectiles are unique to flak weapons. You went over that launch sounds is the launch sound of the shot, so the thump from the flak. Hit sounds are the flak sounds, like the crunchy thing. Hit shields is, you know, hit shields. Miss is just the usual whoosh sound of failure. Weapon art defines uh, where the game needs to go for look for the weapon art. Uh, it'll load up the stuff from there uh, we won't we are not going over that in this video but when we are messing with art we will go over this so i'm not going to do that now icon image i believe is a little icon you see in your weapon box on the ui 
Um, let's go over another weapon because we're clearly missing a few. So this is a charge gun, right? Uh, which one is this? Charge up to three. Okay, so new to this is charge levels. This indicates, you guessed it, how many times it can charge. Uh, so three shield piercing missiles, three charge levels. Um, you're going to have to experiment a little bit with this, uh, mainly with the art of it. Uh, because you notice that on most charge weapons, like a light comes on uh, on the art every time a shot is charged. So that's a thing you can uh, go for. So also you can see here, this is a burst weapon. Which means it will be targeted with uh, defense one drones. And here it only has one type of projectile. Again, only one shot per volley, which is normal to uh, flak weaponry. So yeah, you can mix and match. We'll just have to test it a lot. Also here is another tag, drone targetable. Um, you can probably tell what that means, right? So I guess this is another way of turning lasers into missiles or missiles into lasers by putting a 1 or a 0 in here. Not all of them have them. This is just if you're like really doing some weird stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look at a beam. Um, I know. Let me load up a custom beam I made because it's much handier. Um, let's see where did I put that. That one was on the Let me just load it up in here Not because I want to But so you can see what I'm talking about Jelly <clears throat> My Nebula Drifter With the Arc Beam Custom beam based off If you can tell The Bio Beam uh, bio beam, it's biohazard. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, um, let me show you the blueprint for that one. Um, blueprints, XML append, arc, beam arc. There we go. Weapon blueprint for the arc beam. That went well. Alright, so again, uh, blueprint name, beam arc. Um, and here's some extra stuff. Um, I'm trying to look for a particular tag and I'm not seeing it. Okay, it is in there. Um, first of all, what's new here is zero damage. But an extra tag named personal da personnel damage. So in this way you can add or decrease the amount of uh, crew damage it does. Uh, this can use negative values. So say you have the normal... Um, let's just go with like... A, take the heavy laser. Right? Heavy laser does 2 damage, 2 regular damage. So that would be 30... Personnel damage, or as in here, two. If I set this to like two damage and minus two personnel damage, it will still do two dull, two dull damage. Cool, two hull damage, but it won't do any crew damage. Um, for stuff like the heal bomb, uh, these are negative values. Keep in mind, <clears throat> a lot of Weapon types do not work with negative personnel damage. Lasers don't work, so you can't get like a Vulcan that heals your crew. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. Uh, I think the same goes for anything but a bomb. Again, you can try it out, test it, see what it does. Um, that's cool. Next up, what's new is the system damage. That's the same thing, but instead of personnel damage, it's system damage. Um, because this uh, this particular beam was 30 crew damage and one system damage. So, you know, it does the regular 
damage and then adds on to any extra or negative system damage or personnel damage that you add to it. Um, <clears throat> one cool thing that I've seen was a weapon, I think it was from Puppet Squid, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see if I can get regular blueprints up. I'm looking for... yeah. I, actually, I'll do that later again, because there's still some stuff I want to talk about <clears throat> as far as beam goes. So when I when we were adding the drone, he mentioned if I could recolor, and I said no. Well, it turns out you can. Um, I said no because I wasn't familiar with modding drones, but uh, beams have this red, green, and blue values. So if we went back to the drone blueprint, we could have added this, added the RGB values, and it would have recolored the beam. Also new for or unique to beams is speed. Speed here is how quickly the beam travels from where you fire to where it ends. Um, anything else? Length is the, of course, the length of the beam, I believe. Uh, I think I can see that in here. See, so six six five. Yeah, a single tile is thirty five pixels. So if you ever want to know how uh, long a beam is, just divide this by thirty five, and you know the amount of tiles. If you're going in a straight line, of course. Um, let's see. Okay, that's all that I wanted to do for beams. I wanted to go check out that one cool weapon that I saw from Puppet Squid. It was a neat idea, it was a really unique one, and it also allows me to show you guys one extra tag. There's a, there are a few more, so again, if you're curious how a weapon works, just go look at its blueprint and you'll figure out a ton. Um, let me just open up the basic blueprints. And this is the blueprint you're about to see, you'll also be able to find just in the uh, regular game. What we're looking for is the hull laser, because if you recall, that one has a unique feature to it. And of course, that comes with a unique tag. Namely, the double damage in systems rooms, which is hull bust. If this is set to one, it will deal double hull damage in systems rooms. Now, one cool thing that I saw, and I think it was a puppet squid weapon, I'm not 100% sure. But what he did was, um, he set damage to one here, added the hull bust, and then added uh, one system damage. So the way it worked was, you could either fire on an empty room where it would deal two hull damage, or you could fire on a room with a system in where it would deal one hull damage but two system damage. And that's like the kind of weird stuff you can do. One more thing that I want to show off, um, which is one of my custom weapons that I can show you here. Um, that is fed to my Triumvirate. Probably one of the ships I'm most proud of. I really like how this one turned out, even though it's using loopy doors, which you should never do. Again, I'll talk about loopy doors on the addendum episode. And mostly why you shouldn't do this is, uh, again, the weapon I'm talking about is the repair effector. So if you look at this one, um, this is basically a bomb weapon. Bomb weapons can be targeted on your own ship, which, you know, makes it handy. So what this thing does is it does two ion damage and negative two system damage. So what does that mean as well? You can fire the system and it will ionize it for two damage, but it will also repair two system damage. Meaning you can either use like uh, offensively or defensively, you know, defensively to repair your own systems, offensively for the ion damage. Do keep in mind, you will ionize what you repair and you will repair what you ionize. Um, on this ship, it's really handy because this is, once again, a uh, AI ship that starts with no actual crew. So this can be used to attack the enemy or repair system damage on your own ship. Um, is there anything else I need to show you regarding blueprints of weapons? Um, well, there's one more tag I guess I would, wouldn't mind showing you. I say wouldn't mind like it's like a 
bad thing to do. Uh, this is the arc beam, you won't find it in here. <clears throat> is this the even? Yeah, the. It's a DLC blueprint. And that is a. Should be in here. Bomb. Oh, yeah. Uh, stunning is also a bit weird. There's like stun and stun chance. Um, one is a timer. One is a chance, so chance is stun, and slash or how long it stuns them. But I am looking for something completely different. I don't know if it's a... Again, I might as well take my own advice and just look for it. Um, as long as I didn't replace that ship, it should be here. Lockdown bomb, that's what we're looking for. Um, lockdown. Huh, I guess that's a... Is that not in the base game? It should be. Again, it's not showing up for me because I have cap position loaded. Um, Anyway, yeah, the lockdown bomb has a special attack too that makes the crystal shoot out from whatever hits. That actually works on uh, beams and lasers and stuff. So you could have like a flak with a really big layout or big radius. And if you shoot at the enemy, it just locks down all the rooms. You know, get creative. So then one more thing we need to talk about is uh, augment modding. And this video is going on forever. This is great. Um, augment modding is pretty simple. First of all, can you make new augments? Yes. Can you use them in a proper fashion? Not really. Um, for instance, if you replace this, it won't do this. Um, if you're making custom augments, then they need to be used through blue options and events. There's just no way around it. Like Captain's Edition does it for its trading system, Arsenal does it for its weapon injectors. Uh, if you make a brand new augment, it needs to be called upon through events. What you can do, however, is mod existing augments. The way you do that is just you copy this blueprint, you put it back into the correct file, and you can start messing with things. Uh, not everything works as easily as you think it might, but for instance, the O2 masks, um, cost, you know what cost is, you know what description is, title, you know what the title means, BP, again, pointless, rarity, you know, stackable, it's pretty simple. Uh, can you have multiples of them? Not all of these work. Uh, for instance, uh, if you turn the explosive replicator here to stackable true, and you have two of them, you will not get 100% chance of not consuming a missile. All right. All right. Um, value. You'll see that in a lot of events, and that's basically how effective it does what it is supposed to do. Um, there's still some trial and error involved. Like, for instance, okay, uh, crew that take half damage from low oxygen, value 0 0.5. What do you think that 0 0.5 means? Does it mean uh, how much it reduces, reduces suffocation or how much suffocation is left? Who knows? You can only find that out through testing. In this particular case, it's how much they still take. So if you were to set this to 0, your crew won't suffocate. If you set this to, say, minus 0 0.5, they'll heal by being suffocated. And if you're really mean, you can set this to like 20, and they'll probably instantly die the moment they start suffocating. Um, okay, so what else is there? Recon teleport, same thing. Uh, the value here defines how much they heal. Um, you can set this to a negative value, and then the moment they teleport over, they die, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, battery booster, uh, again, this can be changed as well, so it will uh, lower the cooldown further, or just increase it. Uh, defense scrambler, I don't... Th the defense scrambler just does something. I don't think changing this value will do anything. Same with the backup bank. 
hacking stun, life scanner, assault and bypass. I don't think any of these actually do anything. Um, but yeah, just you know, use your common sense a bit, and uh, remember to copy the blueprint over. Do not rename it, or it will not work. Uh, you can give it a new name and stuff, uh, but don't actually uh, change the name in here. Um, is that any free thing I want to talk about? Yes, I think that's it for now. Again, there's going to be a lot more information coming up in episode 4 and 5. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hoping you enjoyed the guide. Hoping it's helping you create the ship you've always dreamed of. And I'll see you guys on episode 4. Bye, everyone.